Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a surprise fold barbecue. So I hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our barbecue surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. We want to begin by folding our paper in half, just as if we are making a birthday card. Line up the corners and then give it a nice fold right down the middle. Next, let's go ahead and fold it in half one more time. Line up the corners again, give it a nice fold so it looks like a big book bird club. Now to begin drawing, let's start with the grill. So I'm going to start right here and we're going to make kind of like a long skinny rectangle on here. So we'll begin here, let's make lines going to go up, we're going to come over, and then down. Starting here, we're going to go down, we're going to go over, and then up. Starting here, I'm going to make a nice big half circle shape for the top. And then we'll make another nice big half circle shape for the bottom of our grill. Down here at the bottom, let's make two lines that come down. Then we'll make two lines that come out at an angle. And two more lines right over here. These will be for the legs of our grill. At the top here, let's make a little skinny rectangle. And then one more over here. We'll make a line that curves here, and then one over here. This will be for the little handle on top of our grill. Now I want to make a little face on our grill. Let's start here. We'll go ahead and make a circle for an eye. We'll leave some space, and we'll make another circle for an eye right over here. I'll draw a circle inside each one for the pupil and then I'll make a smaller one inside of there and just color around the edge. So I'll make a smaller one and then I'll just color around the edge. Right here I'll make a nice big smiley face with a small one underneath for like the chin and then we'll make a line that's going to come up and down for the tongue with a little line inside of there. Now, once we have that drawn, let's go ahead and open this up so we can add everything on the inside. Once we open up our grill, you see that we have two halves. We have the top and then we have the bottom of our grill. Let's go ahead and start adding the inside. Let's start here at the bottom and I want to draw each of these lines up past this fold. So we'll draw each one up just a little bit, not too much. Then let's go ahead and draw a nice line across to connect them. We'll do the same thing down here. Two lines down. With a little line across to connect them. Now, you can put whatever you want inside of here, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of do like a fire with some little food kind of flying out. So let's start with our fire. I'm going to begin by drawing just some wavy pointed lines. Now when you draw fire you want all the lines going different directions. That's something that my dad always taught me. It's just to draw fire going in all sorts of different directions so it looks a little more realistic. Now once we have this fire drawn we want to go ahead and start adding some of our food. So let's go up here and let's start with a little burger. I'll begin with kind of like a bumpy circle. And then I'm going to make a bumpy curved line right here. Over here, let's add a chicken leg. So we'll make a curved line right here. We'll make a couple little zigzag lines. We'll make two lines down. 
and then two little bumps right here. I'll put a stake up here. We'll go and draw a line that's gonna come down. It's gonna curve and then come all the way back up. Now I'm gonna draw just this side one more time and I'm gonna run it right into here. So watch this, we're just gonna go down. I'm going to redraw this side and then just bring it right up into here. Then I'm gonna kinda trace the inside of this. I'm gonna keep it real close. Just go ahead and trace the inside. And I'm gonna make a little circle here with a little black dot in it for the bone and another little curve right there. Now over here, let's make a little hot dog. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's gonna curve up. We're gonna come down, and then we're going to bring it right back here. Then we'll put a little bump on each end. Then over here, let's put a little kind of piece of fish. Now to do this, let's draw a line that's gonna come up. We're gonna curve it around and bring it down. Then we're gonna bring this up and down and then go, come right to here. Now right here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and over. And then over here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna come down and then bring it back up here. Now to make this kind of more cartoony and fun, I'm gonna go ahead and add some little faces on here. Now there's lots of different ways you can do this, so it's totally up to you. I'm gonna make some little eyes on each one. So we'll make some circles here. I'm gonna go ahead and just color in most of this, leaving just a little bit white. And then we'll give them like some little different mouths, like maybe a little smiley face mouth over here. And then I'll make some little lines right across our burger. For the steak over here, I'll make some more circle eyes. You can always do one or two little white circles in there. Totally up to you. And then this one, I'm going to make a line that comes across here and then we're gonna make it curved on the top. That way it looks like it's kind of like yelling. For our hot dog, we'll do the same thing, make a couple of circles. We'll do those two lines in here. And then we'll do a little happy mouth in here. For our chicken, We'll make a little circle eye, and then we'll make a little winky eye, and then we'll do another happy face. And then for our fish over here, let's make two kind of like winky eyes, and then a big happy face in here. And there you go, there is your drawing of a grill surprise fold. Now when you have this all folded up, we have our little barbecue grill. And then when you open it, you have all the food kind of shooting out with the fire. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.